Hi guys, happy Monday. Um, happy to be back from break. It's definitely an adjustment getting back into the swing of things after being on break. Um, so this week I'm doing a little bit of a different video because for a few reasons. Um, spring break obviously is like throws everybody off, but we've been practicing a lot. So before we left for spring break, we had practiced until Sunday, and then I came back here on Thursday night, and we had seven hours of practice on Friday, six hours of practice on Saturday, and six hours of practice on Sunday. So pretty tired, lots of work, not a lot of time to film. Also, it gets pretty repetitive at this point because we're really going over like little details and things like that to perfect our routines. So that's one reason. Also, um, I've personally had a few injuries. I was concussed for a little while, still kind of am. And um, yeah, just like soreness, you know, like our bodies are, are getting tired, but we're really pushing through because we're obviously trying, you know, as hard as we can um, to do really well in, at nationals. So, so yeah, so this video is going to be more like a let's see what the Jasper dancers are up to type video, um, where I'm just going to answer some questions that people around campus typically have. Um, I didn't like ask people if these were their questions, but these are the questions that I personally tend to get a lot and I know other girls on the dance team get a lot so yeah these are a few of the questions so one of the biggest questions that I think we all get is are you a sports team and the answer is no we are not we're not under athletics um, it has to do with title nine and like all that crazy stuff that I'm not gonna get into but basically short answer no we are not a sport we are a club under student engagement we get a budget but we do a lot of fundraising which is why we have the opportunity to go to nationals um, and we have it's in like an agreement with athletics that we go to all of the sports games and we get the you know benefits of going to Albany and you know going to Ireland last year to support them in the basketball tournament um, things like that so no we are not under athletics but we do go to athletic events, if that makes sense. So another question that I definitely get a lot, especially around this time of year, is where do we compete? Why do we compete? What is a dance competition like? Um, and that is actually going to be answered in probably the next two weeks when we go to nationals um, because I'll be able to film Hopefully, I'll be able to film what that's like. I don't know. It's crazy down there. Uh, not a lot of time. But basically, we compete at NDA Nationals in Daytona Beach, Florida every year. And it's just like four days of super intense, nonstop dancing. And we're competing against all of these different colleges. It's all different levels, ranging from D3 to D1A. Uh, we compete in the D1 division for hip-hop and jazz. There's also a POM category, there's a team category, which is basically hip-hop, jazz, and POM all in one dance. We've done that before. We've also done POM before. Um, and then there's also cheerleaders that go down there. That's the NCA competition. They're, it's like part of um, All Under Varsity, which is like the parent brand. So yeah, so we compete there every year. And it's a really big, it's one of the main um, dance cheer competitions in the country and it's huge it's crazy and I can't wait to film it and show you guys one of the most pet biggest pet peeves of mine um, in terms of questions is why do you guys practice so much and it's I can totally understand where that question comes from if you just think that we do basketball games um, even at that not really but benefit of the doubt um, basically we practice so often, definitely more often in the spring, but because we have to get ready for a competition, if you think about it, we're practicing 
like any other team would, even though we're not under athletics. We get no financial benefit of being on scholarship, anything like that. We do this because we love it and because we know that it takes a lot of hard work to place at competition and to get to finals and to compete and be a viable team against all these other teams around the country. So we put in the time and we go over these dances over and over and over and over until we can literally do them in our sleep. Like, I'm not kidding. And it just, sometimes practices, you could practice for two hours and you're going over like 16 counts of a dance, which is not a lot. It's like not even 16 seconds because I know some people don't know what dance counts are, but it's crazy and you put in so much time and you put in so much effort and that's why we're practicing. So it may not look like we should be putting in that much work because I don't know. Like, I don't know where people are coming from when they ask that question, but it's um, definitely, well, our practices are not boring and they are every single time filled to the brim. Sometimes we even run over. So we we definitely put in just as much work as some of these athletes do um, because we love it. So the final question that I get, I think a lot of times when I explain what we do as dancers and you know how much of a time commitment we put in without a lot of recognition or benefit from the college or you know silly things like that the biggest question I get out of that is why do you do it um and it really is because I love it and I think every girl on our team really loves it as well um we have 11 girls on this team that have become best friends. We spend almost every day together at this point. Even when we don't have to spend time together, we're, we tend to be together. So it just goes to show what strong bonds you can build by being on a team and being a member of a team where we're all collectively working towards one goal and one, one bigger picture that we all really care so much about you know, it, it's crazy because we, we don't get a lot of benefits from being on the team other than the gratification of doing something we love with the people we love. And not to mention, we also have a coach who loves this program and loves each and every girl on this team. And we love her right back because she is such a great person and she puts so much time and energy into this program that it means so much and it's such a great reflection on what it means to be a Jasper dancer and what it means to be a part of the Jasper dancer program, whether you were a Jasper dancer 10 years ago or you will be a Jasper dancer in 10 years. It's something that it means a lot to each of us. It's, it's definitely a sense of pride to be a member of this team. And it's honestly, I will say, probably the highlight of my college career and something that I'll never forget because I know I've made friends for life in my teammates, in my coach, in the alumni. Um, I know I can trust these people with anything and I'm incredibly thankful for that. All right, so those are just a few questions that hopefully are answered or you have a little bit of a better idea of what we do and who we are, and what we're all about here with the Jasper Dancers. Um, but yeah, we have a big, big week coming up. This is our last full week before we leave for Daytona. So we have practice tonight, practice on Wednesday, practice on Friday, practice on Saturday, and then practice and our national send-off on Sunday at 4 p.m. in Dratty. So that's where we get all dolled up in our hair and makeup and put our costumes on and we perform for our families and friends and anyone that wants to come and wish us well before we head to Daytona on Wednesday. So, less than a week, well, a little more than a week, but less than a week till send off, about a week and two, three days until we leave for Daytona, and I could not be more excited. I'm so ready. I'm so excited. I love this time of year so much. It's like Christmas for me. So, I can't wait to be filming all this coming weekend. Hopefully, I get a lot of good footage. Hopefully I get footage down in Daytona, but I can't wait to bring you guys along for the journey. So we'll see you next week.